Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week. You know how this works by now. I'm going to pick you out a lovely question, you're going to have a go at it, then we're going to talk through it on this video. So, this question has been provided exclusively for diagnostic questions by the lovely people at AQA. Now, what the flipping heck is this? Which of these describes interpolation? What topic on earth are we talking about here? Well, this is actually a topic that a lot of students think is an absolute walk in the park. Scatter diagrams or scatter graphs. Now, for years, scatter graphs has been on the GCSE, but it's had a bit of a makeover for the new GCSE and it's got a little bit more demanding. You're still gonna have to be able to draw your scatter graphs and draw lines of best fits and make predictions, but you're also gonna need to know your definitions of your keywords. It's gonna ask you to do a little bit more. So I thought this was a good question to choose because students are getting this wrong. So let's have a look at it. Which of these describes interpolation? What does interpolation mean? Well, interpolation is a posh name for something. It's a posh name for prediction. Interpolation is the proper name that you give whenever you've got a scatter graph, right? And you've, say you've drawn a line of best fit. So let me treat myself to a bit of yellow here. Let's get a bit colorful. I mean, that's a bad line of best fit, but you get the idea. And then say it says to you something like, predict the weight of something with a when it's got a height of 200 meters or something like that. So you end up say, looking, uh, what did I say, 200 meters. So you end up looking at 200, you dot a line up, you see where it hits your graph, and then you dot a line across. Now we're all familiar with that, right? And that is predicting, it's using your line of best fit to predict something. But the posh name for that is interpolation. Okay, so is that one of these? Extending, no, no, no. I hear it is. Using a line of best fit within the range of your data to predict a value. So D is gonna be the right answer. Now, why are they saying that bit, within the range of your data? Well, that's gonna lead us to now start to investigate some of the other things. Imagine if your scatter graph looked like this. I don't know why I keep going to this brown color. Anyway, imagine your scatter graph was like that and you drew yourself a lovely line of best fit. There it goes. But you were then asked to predict a value up here. Now, that is not within the data. Your data is just round there. So whenever you're asked to predict something outside of the range of data, you're doing something different, something a little bit dodgy, because who's to say whether this straight line pattern continues? It could go off all over the show up here. So whenever you're predicting something outside the range of your data, what you're doing is extrapolating. 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 Oh my God, extrapolating, flipping heck. Uh, so that is when you're extending the line of best fit beyond the range of your data. So it's not interpolation, it's extrapolation. And that is the kind of, that is the answer that's tempting a lot of students. So I just wanted to emphasize that. It's a different skill with scatter diagrams. When you've used the line of best fit outside of the range of data, you're extrapolating. Um, B, stating the type of correlation, well, that's just kind of uh, describing the trend. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it no, uh, no correlation? And identifying an outlier, it's probably worth just having a quick look at this. What's an outlier? Well, say we had some pattern like this, and then we had a bloke over here, or a girl over there. That would be your outlier. So it's a point that does not fit in with the general trend. So, look, scatter graphs are all right. They're still straightforward enough, but just check. You need to be happy with interpolation, extrapolation, trend, and outliers. So make sure you're comfortable with those, con those concepts. Use mrbarmaths.com, look up scatter graphs. I've got loads of questions for you to try, videos, all that kind of stuff. And try out this quiz on diagnostics. Please don't go into that exam assuming you're a scatter graph expert because there are a few new twists along the way. Okay, I'll see you for a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.